I will save you. Ooh. Burning, burning on it's stuck to my finger, stuck to my finger, stuck to my finger. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm good. Home? I'm just getting ready to leave. And go for a ride quick. Yep. Be careful, it's cold. It's very yeah. windy. I'll be okay, I think. Okay, love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Hello, Stevies, and welcome to my first, yeah, my second recorded ride on the bike. The first one that's actually going to make a video out of. I lost the footage of the first ride because I'm awesome. I have my soft lowers on for my old bike and they are literally touching the heat shield. <laughs> the right one is. Uh, the strap that goes around the frame is touching the heat shield so I'm assuming I'm going to have to pull over here in a little bit uh, and put that fire out. So there is not a huge difference between this bike and my old bike. The biggest difference is this has a Milwaukee 8. You can notice the difference in the power. This one has more. Of course, it rides the exact same because it has the same suspension. My Legend suspension was transferred over into this onto this bike. 43 degrees out. I have my heated liner on. I do not have my heated pants on, and I'm wearing my my Vans. <laughs> one one big thing that is obviously different is the handlebars are different. I obviously still have the same controls. Um, this bike, whoever owned it before me, put these on. Uh, they also did the Chrome Master Cylinders because this one has a hydraulic clutch. That is a big difference because I cannot adjust the hydraulic clutch to grab as early as I usually like my clutches to grab. So that's going to take some getting used to because I have another bike. That one still has a cable clutch and that one I have set to grab really, really early. So that'll be fun going back and forth. The handlebars are hugely different instead of sitting like this like my old ones did my my hands were curved a little bit these are more straight and there are a bunch of different reasons why i like that better on my 06 i had wild one chevys on that also um, but when i pushed them forward where i wanted them i felt like my hands were doing this like they were my thumbs were facing down and then on the chubbies that I had on my 16, my hands are doing this, which I was comfortable too. Don't get me wrong, I rode a long time on both of those bikes, but this was more comfortable than this. But these, as you can see, my thumbs are more straight across. That's different. I have feel like I have more control over the bike. I feel like T-bars, but instead of being like this, my hands are stretched out like this. I feel like I have more control over the bike because I have a wider stance on it. Hello, Mr. Policeman. It is January 14th. It is actually my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Tony. It's 40 some degrees. Miss Stevie might try to come out and ride with me tomorrow. It's supposed to be 50. I'm actually, I'm really comfortable right now. These heated lower, the soft lowers make a really big difference, but um, I'm going to get up to speed here and reach reach around here quick and see if I can see if uh, I'm about to catch on fire or not. I got a feeling you wouldn't want to idle very long with this setup that I got going right here, but uh, moving maybe it's, uh, it's either extinguishing the fire or it is keeping it cool enough that I don't have to worry about it. I'm thinking that that's going to burn through because what it is is there's a strap that comes from the front, it goes around the frame, and then it just clicks together like a belt clip. So I'm thinking that that will probably burn through 
and it won't be holding it anymore. That's what I think is going to happen. The other side is fine because there's no exhaust there, but these make a huge difference, though. No wind hitting you. And if this doesn't work out, um, my other alternative plan is I'm going to get a set of really cheap blowers on, like, Amazon or something like that that are like a hundred bucks not going to paint them or anything because I won't put them on there a whole bunch um, But I'll put those on there. I'll pull over up here guys, and I'll show you guys this bike outside in this wonderful 43 degree weather with cloudy skies on this wonderful January day that we've got here But hey Dustin up there at two-wheeled land <laughs> <laughs> I will say though I've pretty much made all of the changes to this bike that I plan on making I want to figure out something for this because I really don't want this gas gauge here anymore I was always going to try to figure that out for my last bike too never did it so we'll see if I actually can do that check for gravel the place I was going to go up here is probably full of snow. No, it's not. Cool. Now, normally I would leave it running so you guys can hear it run, but that right there I don't think I should so you know oh, I'm still plugged into it I think what I'll do is I'll jump off quick rub her up a couple times so you can hear it okay I think now I better shut it off before this becomes a fire hazard which it might not but it probably should um, here it is everybody this is the new one. Oh, did a really good job cleaning it up, didn't I? Twisted cherry paint. A little shelf. Pretty handy. So far, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but yeah, twisted cherry paint. Vance and Heinz exhaust. Those wheels, though. Which I found some of those wheels on some uh, CVOs, so they might be CVO wheels. I do not know, but Milwaukee 8, 107, for now, actually it'll probably stay a 107, I'll just have some stuff done to it, is what we're thinking anyway, um, yeah, show you guys the B side, my plug for my heated gear, kind of ripped it off a little bit, like I said, I'm wearing the heated jacket liner, I do have the heated gloves in there in case I need them, but I haven't needed them yet. Yep, that's it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. So my Harley Davidson taillight and my Hogwarts blinkers are not the same shade of smoked. Just take it in. Just take it in. We're getting honked at. All right, let's go ride some more. Go enjoy this brisk air. I do have a windshield bag on here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it on there or not. It should be handy, though, having a windshield bag. And when I do have the windshield on, which hopefully won't be very often, I am going to move this. My quad lock, I don't like it there. I like the handlebars being all sleek and clean, but when I have the windshield on, it doesn't really matter much. I don't know. Maybe we'll just start leaving the windshield on all the time. I don't know. So the quad lock and the windshield bag do not get along at all. Let it go already. Holy smokes. It's not you're not better than it. You are. You are hitting it though. That's probably my fault for putting it there. Yeah. 
You know, the horn cover on this bike does not protrude my leg like my other one did. Nor does the air cleaner. <laughs> I was going to change the air cleaner, but I just noticed that. Man, I can get a lot closer over on the left side and on the right side to the bike. Ah, that's pretty cool. It's the little things. It's the little things. starting to get a little hot my body area but I'm going to leave it this way because I wanted to keep heating up my extremities keep your core warm a lot of times the rest of your body will stay warm too a lot of times not all the times do not try that in the Antarctic and then get mad at me and say you said if I kept my core warm I would survive then I lost my legs for frostbite because of you. It's all your fault. So if all works out, uh, the Senna is recording my voice, and the I'm DJI sure Action, it. the DJI Action Two, is recording the video. If not, hopefully this one on the side of my helmet is recording. And if it is, then we'll have a backup. Uh, Miss Stevie's got something changed on her bike. Hopefully we can do that video tomorrow. That, that's cool. So cool. And we'll get to talk to Miss Stevie. She was actually the last one to ride the Blue Road King because she took it to the Harley dealer for me on a really, really nice day while I was at work. It was not a really, really nice day. It was like 37 degrees, but her bike was in there getting some warranty work done. She said she wanted to go get it. And I said, hey, why don't you take the Blue Road King, go drop it off. And she's like, that's a great idea. So she did. Now, my wife has, and we'll talk about this with her, but my wife has the heated gear like I got. She's got the heated gloves. She's got the heated jacket liner. She's got the heated pants liner. Yet, she still wore leggings and her chaps. And she did wear her heated jacket liner, but then like really thin gloves. She never complained that she was cold, but you could tell she was cold. And that was like 37 degrees or something like that. And then she rode home in the dark and it was windy. And yeah, that's, that's how you know you're married to a biker girl. Hopefully if she comes out with me tomorrow, we, we can talk to her about that. Um, and then uh, we can find out some things that she's got going on here pretty soon. And then also we're gonna drop GPMM. It's happening again, June 3rd, 2023. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe. I will save you. Ooh. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Oh, burning, burning almost. It's stuck to my finger. Stuck to my finger. Stuck to my finger. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm good. Huh.